Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another room to siege for you today and today we do have Masaisley here with its own Legionnaires, its own uh, troops trained in the Roman style, besieging Carthage and oh yes, it just seems though as soon as you've got Legionnaires the first thing you have to do is attack the city of Carthage uh, and they're not alone here today, they are joined by the Seleucids which in the, uh, like the old Rome, uh, like original Rome one, you could get uh, Seleucid Legionnaires as well, so that's it's kind of a cool like little addition. Uh, there's no such thing as a uh, Arverni Legionnaire, but there are Gallic. Uh, this is a Gallic Rome, so if only they... So I guess in a way these guys could all have Legionnaires if they wanted to. Um, but yes, uh, we are here with a nice 3v3. We have Galatia, Kush, and I also think... I actually... I think we might have a Egypt uh, in the middle here. As we can say, I think it's Masasi, but it's Egypt. Um, so yeah, we have Egypt, Kush, and Galatia here on the defense uh, in this one. This was sent in by a member of my Discord. He said it was a pretty fun one, a pretty uh, sort of back and forth one, a few mistakes made by uh, by the attackers, he, he was saying. But yeah, it should certainly be an interesting one, that is for sure. I'm excited to see how this one goes down. It's good to be back with a good old classic Road 2 Siege as well. And uh, yeah, if you're enjoying the, uh, the Road 2 action, we'd like to see some more of this sort of... Uh, content on the channel then do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment to show your support as always and looks like we've got some i think these are some um, some yeah some slave infantry going in against the hillman here and they are going to probably be slowly overwhelm the slave infantry or very light infantry they are going up against medium melees and you'll get the stats there uh, you can see here yeah, yep yeah, they're already lost a few boys and the yeah, in goes from levy freeman pinning down some of these galatian swords and they're going to get flanked here by mistakes with some vigilates Another sort of Roman style unit. And yeah, the Spear Infantry will easily mop these guys up. Uh, they're losing decisively, actually. Maybe they won't. I take it back. Uh, Galatian Swords also now coming in and they're fighting off against Fort Hillman. But yes, these breaches being opened up and the attackers quickly getting troops through to try and, you know, make some bridgeheads inside the city. People are losing their heads. And uh, uh, already the battle is getting very, very spicy. Excellent. Uh, we do have some more Desert Vigilates here going forward. Looks like they're going to take up some Slave Infantry. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be really sort of Kush and also Galatia on this front lines, it looks like. Uh, a lot of these factions, maybe Seleucids, are probably the most vulnerable. Uh, maybe even also uh, Masasely, to be honest with these Legionnaires, are going to be pretty good for Kush to face because uh, they do have that armor-piercing ability. With heavily armored units. Really, they want to have factions like uh, Arverni, which they do have here, and Galatia, to be honest. Probably not too bad as a counter. But yeah, Arverni would be the best person to set up against all the more heavily armed Kushite units. Um, we have, looks like already heavily armed units coming inside here. Roll Peltas from the Seleucids already been sent in to uh, fight it out, you can see here. And they're battling away in the streets. The Hillman to try and to almost get around this uh, Galatian sword here. I don't know why they're trying to eagerly get to the Galatian Legionnaires. It's only a tougher fight there. And there you go, the first Galatian sword. Looks like it's going to be removed from the battlefield very shortly. It doesn't seem like there's any sort of signs of a sally out, but there is signs of a landing over here. It's Numidian Light Infantry somehow has got onto the wall over here. It's going to get taken out by a, a Galatian unit. Another Galatian sword here, but yeah, for some reason. I guess maybe they spawned out here and then snuck in. Oh, there's another one over here. There must be a tower or something they've got up. I don't know, but there's another one here, another Nubian in light. I don't feel like this is a, a smart tactic. You're just wasting two light infantry units. They're just going to get isolated and killed off. But if you'd done this a little bit later, maybe this would have worked. Um, there was also a cav here, Galatian cav. So I don't think they can sally around to the back of uh, Carthage because, well, you end up in the sea. But uh, they have got some cav for later on in the game to maybe repel some attacks, which could be quite useful. And there you go, the uh, Royal Pelt has already getting a fair few kills there. Battling away in these streets of Carthage. They've seen so many clashes between Rome and Carthage, and now neither side is present for another epic battle. So we've got some, still some really strong factions here. Yeah, the Royal um, Peltas, well, actually, they're losing as well. Everyone's a loser when it comes to war, really. No one's a winner. But it looks like we're going to see... Well, it looks like they're taking slowly over these uh, lower levels here. 
It looks like the Desert Legionnaire is going to get in behind with some Vigilates. They are going to get shot on the back here by uh, Syrian Archers as well. And we've got Thorios Spears, the first unit that Egypt is going to send forward. Actually, they've already got some Thorax in over here, and they're cutting down some Celtic Swordsmen, some Light Infantry. But, you know, definitely can cause problems for these Thorax. Thorax, I feel like, are a little bit overrated, you know, being heavy, very heavy infantry. They often can just get very few kills. Like when you think of a very heavy infantry, you think of like the Leechnares and the and the uh, Oathsworn or something like that. But yeah, these guys definitely not as good as some of those units I've just listed off. Celtic Warriors here on top of the wall are going to start jabbing down. It looks like the Thorax is going to have to engage the Freeman ahead of them. While also getting jabbied in the face from above. And we've got Cav now behind. Look at this. New Union Riders. They've managed to sneak around these gaps here. And they've managed to get in behind enemy lines. They're probably going to be on a suicide mission here, but they're going to try and just take out as many archers as possible. I'd imagine is their objective. These Syrian archers looking very tasty right now. And in go the Numidian Riders. And they kind of get saved to the Syrians by the Galatian Legionnaires there. They might just have uh, been saved from a pretty horrible cavalry charge. And then in come the slave infantry to envelop there's Numidian Riders and yeah, the Syrians still nearly broke. Oh, they did. 76 out of 90. That's unlucky, I feel like. Um, but yeah, there you go. A bit of a win there for the Numidian Riders. They managed to get rid of the Arch unit. It might re-rally. Uh, we'll see. But it's broken once. So that's always a, always a bit of a negative. Galatian Legionnaires. They are getting shot at over the walls here by more Syrian heavy archers. But uh, not really the best angle in the world. We've got Desert Legionnaires here. Winning decisively, Glacian Legionnaires, yeah, about to get wiped off the face of the earth. Got more Royal Peltasts ready to come in. The other one's still alive, it's still got 90, got 95 kills, it's done well. And here they go. They're not slowing down, instead of falling back, Glacier has decided to go in again. I feel like he should have fallen back, maybe allow the students to have some respite. It's probably would have been more useful to retreat rather than just send in to get surrounded like it is. Galatian Legionnaires, yeah, now, now dead, unfortunately. I feel like they could have just pulled them back just behind the Showtel line there, and there would have been a bit more of a, an asset for later in the game. They did their bit in the front line the first time. Here we go, yeah, the Thorax Swords battling away here with the uh, Legionnaires. And they are being defeated. They are just, Legionnaires are so much better. 47 melee attack to 38, and they're both very heavy. I know that they're like armor-wise, it's probably what it is, 75 to... They have 80, so they're still better off. They are, like I said, Thorax are a bit of a joke, I feel like, of a uh, very heavy infantry. And there you go, good cab and infantry charge, both at the same time. Very nice. Running down some slave infantry here. They are kind of pulling through these heavy horse. The Arverni player should not be doing that, is it? Pulling through is a bit of a cheaty thing to do. I know he's keen to get these, uh, these Syrian archers, which have already been hit once by Cav, and he's going to try to hit them again, as you can see here. Yeah. I don't think he pulled through, that's just the unit itself just running on through. They are engaged now. Yeah, there you go. The Cavs should deal with these guys. Combat even, but that's, that's not going to last for long. Already, look at this. Egypt is like being forced back, further and further back through the city. We've got uh, three of spears here, we've got Keranian Axemen, there's still artillery firing in as well, I'd just like to say. From outside the wall, we've still got this giant ballista here firing in. We've got some Hellenic Royal Guards, we've got some good pikes here for Egypt to hold the line somewhere. We're going to have to decide somewhere soon. Oh, artillery there! Look at that friendly artillery hitting their own Numidians. But it doesn't matter. These, uh, these troops are trained in the ways of Rome. They have unwavering morale. And they'll fight on their short gladiuses. And they've broken through that line and they're going to go into the next one now. This looks like it's going to be the three of spears going to throw their javelins. Some 
tail these guys with those. But yeah, I don't think they'll break through that line yet. They're already losing decisively. And it looks like now we're going to have... Uh, oh, we've got uh, Hillman going up against the Shotels. I mean, it's a lightly armored unit, so I guess the Shotels won't get their bonus. It's not a bad idea, but uh, I still don't think they'll win. <laughs> still don't do Stats just go against them. Like 25 melee attack, 38. And if there's a legionnaire, there's a tiny little unit going. Really, they should just, yeah, just shoot from outside the walls. Just use these Syrians and just shoot over the walls. And, uh, yeah, they could do a lot of damage there with the sh onto the Shotels. Or just get onto the walls as well. They could just, like, mount these uh, these guys with the siege towers on the walls. And that should also uh, work just fine as well. Yeah, the assault looks like it's getting back to here. Celtic Warriors going in. But yeah, they've got to just keep pressing on all the fronts. Like, the attackers have more infantry more generally just more troops than the uh, defenders so you just gotta usually anyway you gotta just try and stretch them so yeah desert legion is here probably engage that thorax if they kill that thorax off they can obviously take this uh this choke point as well they can envelop it and uh, then this hellenic royal guard is gonna have to retreat and same over here really if they take out this uh karate axe when this is a weaker one to take out i mean you could arguably say that one's better to take out you might get an angle with those cretan archers there they might. So yes, it's all a bit of like, it's very much kind of a bit like chess. It's like, oh, just go trying to counter each other in different ways. Certain pieces will take certain things. I do like a, a siege battle, a Rome 2 siege battle, because you know, just it just how it, how it plays, it's like, ah, oh, well, there's pikes over there and there's archers. I can't send my pikes in because there's archers over there. And then you're like, oh, I can't send in these infantry because they'll get absolutely annihilated by something else that's us defending there. Just got to play it slowly. There's no rush to a siege. You have like an hour. The show here. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, I say that and they do. Curse of the commentator. I thought they honestly might fight a little bit lower. No, apparently not. They did get 100 kills dead. Hillman survived as well, and Desert Legionnaires are still doing well at 155 kills with 30 of them left. Um, but yeah, there you go. It looks like they are, well, they're not quite in, but they are nearly to the uh, final cap point. The final cap point is over here by this lovely statue of this gentleman here. I'd also just like to say that the other uh, Numidian Light Infantry is winning on the wall over here, so that might... I don't know if it's really going to make much of a difference, but those 70 men are going to come off the wall behind enemy lines. They're going to be like little special forces going through the streets of Carthage. Uh, and they're going to be, you know, attacking from the rear while the main army is coming in from the front. It looks like we've got Cav again spearheading the way here. It's a Hellenic roll guard. Ah, oh, they're chasing them down. Not a bad idea. And if they just turn and face, then they'd be okay. The Karani Naxman here, they probably will stop the Cav. Yeah, I and mean, the Cav's okay, but it's not like a tiller level Cav where you just absolutely batter through infantry. I mean, if he's going to pull through like this, though, then, I mean, it does pretty much work like uh, a tiller carried away because you're just ignoring everything. Yeah, there you go. Arverni finally has been stopped. He needs to learn that you can't pull through. There you go. The uh, Hellenic Royal Guard there falling back. We've got a, a Egyptian pikeman unit here. This is a lesser pike unit. Surprised this wasn't sent up first. But, yeah, these guys are uh, going to now hold this stairway. The Karanians are still going to die. They are fighting Desert Legionnaires. Yeah, it's not looking good for them. Just send some more Legionnaires and some Desert co -op here, and they could probably get rid of the Karanian Axemen as well. They haven't got much outside the walls now. They've got a couple more Legionnaires, and just, yeah, just artillery at that point. We still have plenty of nasty units to come inside, obviously, and do some, well, to, you know, get to the front lines and do some work. We've got Oaksworn here. Uh, we've got two of those units. We've still got lots of chosen swords as well. So let's be thrown in by Arverni. They've still got a lot of cards that they can play. Yeah, I'd imagine that, you know, Kush has still got some pretty nasty units to come. I mean, we've only seen one Shotel in action. And there's still definitely more of those to be sent in. And we've got more Galatian Legionnaires as well to be committed. Shotel Warriors here just jabbing freely at these Hillmen. And we'll do the same back. The Javi off continues. I don't really like that every single unit in Rome 2 has javelins. I feel like maybe like light infantry and the Romans. That would make sense. Like literally every single heavily armored unit has them. It just kind of like ruins it. Ruins the uniqueness for Rome a little bit. 
But yeah, Karani and Axeman routed, and now it's just onto the pikes. We'll bring up some, bring up some archers, bring up some just some javelins, uh, and you'll break through because I don't think the attackers have any javelins of their own. I'm sorry, any pikes of their own. These are Eastern Spearmen over here, so I don't know why they weren't set in first. They are definitely chaff. Um, so Lucas is definitely running out of actual infantry. He's got, I think, two decent sort of infantry left. As we'll say he's got his two Royal Peltas here. He's got a couple of other sort of mishmash units. This Royal Peltas is half strength, so two and a half. Well, and the general, I guess, so maybe three and a half. Yeah, not a lot left when it comes to actual decent infantry. Then he just has Eastern Spearmen and Archers by the looks of it. And uh, But yeah, really they should just bring up a load of archers, start shooting these uh, Egyptian pikes, and they'll probably break through. Over here, it looks like this flank is nearly undone as well. More Karani and Axemen uh, are routing here, but we're going to see some Galatians in the service of Egypt join the fight. Yeah, I've only played needs to be careful it's about pulling through. I think it's just because he gave the attack order to get these Karanians, and they fell back. Uh, so it's a little... Cheeky move there, but yeah, these Celtic warriors are going to get sliced and diced and killed off. But yeah, these uh, Desert Legionnaires here, they should probably easily kill kill off all of the uh, Galatians in this fight, we'll see. What is this? Oh, we've got another. Oh, this is the Hellenic Royal Guard. It's just was seen for a moment. But it's now disappearing. Okay. Elman here just getting absolutely butchered, but that is kind of their ploy. You know, ways. I imagine the uh, Saluka players bringing up all these units and just making the defenders use all their javelins up. So you can see here this little defense that they have, sort of in a bit of a V, it is a very nasty formation. But you can get hit from two sides here. So yeah, if they're going to go in, they're going to need like a couple of units, maybe like a Desert Legionnaire to go in against the uh, Galatians and then another maybe Legionnaire or Desert Co or something just to go in against the Chotels. Or really it should be something else, maybe like a Chosen Sword, um, because it might be a bit better for it. But yeah, look at this. Salukas have got their uh, Syrian Archers up on this hill. And they're firing down onto the Syrian Archers of the Galatians. They've routed one and they might take out another here as well. We'll see. Yeah, they've got uh, the height advantage, and they are certainly doing a lot of damage to these, uh, to these Syrians. I think they could have maybe still won that with Galatia. He's got a fairly healthy unit going up against two weakened ones. He might have won that. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, Galatia, if he wanted to, could have gone in for a charge. I mean, there's a uh, Royal Peltas waiting, but whether they could have got those archers and cleared them out, they might have been able to. Especially if Egypt here had tied down a lot of the infantry that's being... Uh, used in that, in that street fight there. There's only one Royal Peltas here that's uh, blocking them from getting those archers. There you go. More Galatians going in in the service of Egypt. Yeah, the Royal Peltas are winning that fight hand over fist, really. These poor uh, Galatians and Karanians are just not good enough. Not good enough. There you go. They have been routed of those uh, grinding axemen. They're going to run out of the city and probably for their best. You know, run back to Egypt. Carthage isn't worth dying for. We've got some Hellenic Royal Guard defending this tree. Hopefully some defending this one. Otherwise they can just be flanked around. You just don't engage them. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens there. The Egyptian arch is also on this nice plateau over here. And they also also got ammo. And definitely in a bit of a vulnerable spot if that Hellenic Royal Guard was to die. They're shooting Royal Peltas General. It's not a bad idea. Weaken him up. Soften him up for later on. And there you go. They actually gave up on this V formation. I'm kind of upset by that. I feel like they definitely could have done something with that. The Chotels are losing this fight as well. Maybe they're just not as good as I used to remember. I feel like Chotel, like Kirsch just used to be super good. I mean, they are fighting against like, a lot of lightly armored troops as well as some legionnaires. I know the armored hotels are incredibly good. 
feel like even the basic Shotel Warriors, you know, these guys are still pretty de decent as well, can cause a lot of their issues. I mean, they're getting 82 kills, not like great. Right. If they get triple figures, it'll be okay, I'd imagine. Galakon just getting shot back here. And a general, I think. Numenir has lost his general. Yeah, that he has. So his uh, Cav uh, general here has been killed off. And now, yeah, the uh, Mercedes or Numidia is now without a general. So all of his units are now going to have less morale. And uh, they might break a little bit quicker. So that is a bit of a win there for the defenders. That they've killed the first general. I mean, uh, there isn't many legionnaires left. Uh, they're pretty much all on the front lines. They're probably going to get committed. There are a couple of, it uh, looks like, Numidian skirmishes, though, or tribal slingers uh, listed about. Well, I don't know, actually. There's still about six or, six or seven sword units, actually. Include these two. And there you go, Hellenic Roll Guard. Poking away at these uh, Celts. Should be an easy kill for them. Keep poking away, boys. And they're actually going to fall back. Probably the best thing to do. Let, just let the Javis do the work. If, if anyone has Javelins, which does seem like these Desert Cohort do, just keep jabbing away, and then eventually you'll be able to kill these guys off. Uh, again, the Gallic Cav is getting in here. I don't know if he pulled through again. I'm not sure. But a good charge there from some other Gallic Cav. The Galatian Cav just absolutely mowed down those poor, those poor uh, Arverni troops there. And yeah, now the Generals is going to try and hunt down and finally once for all get rid of this heavy horse. Got 212 kills. I don't feel like it deserves that many, but uh, yeah, it definitely deserves a couple, of, uh, maybe a hundred or so. We've got some Cappadocians here. Dealing with the Royal Peltasts. Showing that they definitely could have challenged the uh, Royal Peltasts and got those archers. It definitely was an option. Yeah, the Egyptian Pikes had 10 kills. I just don't feel like Pikes these days are uh, very useful. Gone are the days where a Pike unit, you know, will hold a choke point and kill hundreds, maybe a thousand enemies. There's nothing can get through it. Gone are those days. Everyone just shoots them to pieces now. It is a pretty worthless thing to bring. But if you do bring it and the other and the other side doesn't, sometimes it, it maybe can get a pluses or two. I mean, if you get 100 odd kills, you've done very well with a pike unit. But yeah, you can see here the Cav Corps, four of the defenders, made up of two generals and a Cappadocian. They'll mop it up a couple of units here, but they can't stop this sort of sea of infantry that's now arriving. We've got a lot of Desert Cohort, a lot of Chosen Swords from Arverni. They're all pushing on. And yeah, this is actually going to be a real problem here for the defenders. I don't know what they've got in the final cap point. But yeah, Egypt has been f constantly pushed back on this uh, this front here. A Kush and Galatia uh, are fighting side by side. But there definitely is not as many enemies here as there is in that top section over there. Uh, it seems like the Shotels are slowing down these guys. 153 kills, 130. Yeah, they're getting some, getting some kills now. The Galatians here also been engaged. They've been jabbing at point, jabbing at point blank range. My gosh, a bit overkill, guys. A bit overkill, killing 13 legionnaires like that. Yeah, there you go, the Shotels. Combat even, they might win that fight, we'll see. Chosen Swords here, losing decisively. And uh, yeah, it looks like this other one losing decisively. I mean, they're getting like, I don't know what happened to this one, 48, it's only got 10 kills. This one's up 50, only got 32. To be fair, they, yeah, these Chosen Swords are getting messed up, I think, by the Shotels. I think that's what's happening. Maybe they're too heavily armored and they get uh, countered by the, the AP sort of, of the, uh, of the Kushite army. Royal Kushite Archers, they spent a lot of money on their archers. I don't know how wise an idea that was. But they got 113 kills, 108. They're doing well, I guess. There's a Shotel unit on the wall here. Whether that one's to engage there's Legionnaires that are now coming up here. Maybe carry on fighting for these walls. Might be worth it. And Galatia has gone in as well. He's trying to uh, get past the Arverdi. He needs to be careful of that. He is possibly losing decisively because he's... I don't know. They don't have the pathfinding work there. He might have gone through the Arverni units, get to this uh, Legionnaire unit. The defenders doing a little bit of a counter offensive here. It might work. 
And you can see, yeah, good Masesi here trying to use the javelins from his legionnaires here to try and javi into the Galatians or just into the Kushite. Any, into any enemy that's down there, really. And the Shotels really need to shut that up. They need to probably take these guys out if they can. Up on the back over here, it looks like the Seleucids, well, just about all three of the attackers here, are uh, making a good push. And it's not really anything that the defenders could do. They've got Cav in this rear here defending. That is it. Uh, I don't know what happened to that other light infantry. It might, it must have just died. Uh, maybe not on the wall, but maybe coming off the wall, getting charged by enemy cav. Yeah, I think it, I think the light infantry died. Uh, okay, we do have something to defend. Oh, uh, it's it's not going to hold long. Twenty-eight Galatians. Oh, we have Kushite pikes. Okay, that might hold. And I don't know how many javies these guys still have. But the chosen swords might have quite a few. And then we have some. Uh, Legionnaires here as well, so that's good. But yeah, not a lot, it seems. Uh, we've got more archers over here, so the Royal Kushite archers. These ones, yet to see any action. They could shoot in there if they wanted to. But yeah, the front line... is looking like it is going to slowly go in favor of the attackers. They've committed everything. I don't know how wise an idea that was. So they threw a lot of troops in here. Galatians and Chotels. And it looks like the Chotels are going to die. But I don't think there's much, to be honest, left. The attacks on the side here. What have we got? An O-Sword? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a couple of O-Sword might do just that job, you know. There's a Chotel unit on the wall here. If that can quickly kill off the Desert Legionnaires and get down again, that might be able to help hold the line. But I don't think so. The O-Sword are going to go smashing on through. And these heavily armored elite Celtic Chief Danes. They're going to smash through this thin line here. That's yeah, sad to see. They've been broken. And now it's on to uh, these archers. I hope they're out of ammo because they're being uh, otherwise thrown in. They both have 100 kills. They've done well. But yeah, it looks like the final defense is being created over here. We've got a couple of uh, Kushite Pikes, some Legionnaires here that are going to hold. And then, yeah, some archers. I don't know if these guys just got fallen back because they realized they were losing. Or whether they just fell back. Or they already had this line set up. Because uh, I'm never really a fan of already having, like, a prepared sort of second line defense. I try and hold where I can with full strength. And then try and fall back with what you can. Obviously, you might need to sacrifice a unit. Fall back the rest of the boys. But if you kind of defend in depth, I always feel like the enemy is just going to take you out piece by piece. And there you go. The uh, O-Sworn. Dealing with those archers. The uh, Royal Kushite archers, they're trying to get a few volleys off, kill a few more O-Swarm before they arrive. And it looks like, yeah, the Kushite Pikes wisely been pull, pulled back behind the Legionnaire line. It's a good idea. Uh, I don't know if these archers, like I said, have still have ammo. It looks like they might. These Gallic Hunters, I think, is still have their bows out, which is always a sign that they have ammunition left. Might just be the one volley, but that one volley will do a decent amount of damage to those Kushite, uh, those Kushite Pikes. Which are being shot at now. And these are only mediums. They're not like the Hellenic Royal Guard. Like a heavily armored. I don't know why they were committed so early. Like the Kushai Pikes should have gone up first. If you could have said Pikes up. Because the Hellenic Royal Guard would have been very useful with this last stand here. They might actually get some kills. But yeah, the Kushai Pikes, we'll see. They, might, they could just get focused down. And we have an Elephant General. Okay, this is bold by Kush to bring an Elephant General. Because elephants are very much glass cannons. They can do great damage and like, get massive kills. And I'm excited to see whether this one can. But, yeah. Um, this this is an interesting decision, we'll put it like that. Because they can also go berserk really easily. So, yeah, these guys could... You could just have your general being berserk and not being very useful. Uh, but you could definitely charge down this desert cohort, which is getting a little bit too close. If that was javelins, that could do a serious amount of damage to the elephants. You might want to just maybe give that a little a little charge there. Uh, Kush, or even just, you know, Egypt going with the Ptolemaic Cav. Because you don't really want uh, your elephants getting weakened by a tiny little unit. And there we have the infantry line and the pikes coming in to support the defenders. They do maybe going forward ever so slightly again. They've already lost, yeah, about 10 or so pikemen. There you go, the elephants have been activated. They did go in. And they're starting to swing those trunks and those tusks. And just like that, the Desert Cohort have been removed. Very good. 
as they should be. Uh, Chosen Swords here going in. These guys probably have their uh, javelins because they're full strength. And I don't think any of the Celts really saw action on this side here. Oh, and look at this. Galatius managed to get his general up into these, uh, these archers up here and the Eastern Spearmen. And this is a big, big win here for the defenders because if they can kill off all these archers, those pikes down there are going to have a lot more joy at not being shot at. So yeah, if they get all these, this is a big one here. There's a, a noble horse here getting 191 kills. And I think we're going to see, yeah, some legionnaires maybe fall back trying to deal with that. But yeah, this is this is huge. A lot of these, yeah, these all these uh, infantry are going to get routed. So that is huge. And here we go, the elephant's going in. Fire arrows still being fired off from somewhere. And that is going to cause these guys to go out of control just like that. Uh, yeah, just the Syrians here. It's just one volley is pretty much all it takes. And those poor elephants go out of control. Don't try and kill them. Just let them go out of control. It's so much more effective. And uh, they'll start to run down friend and foe now. So this is the risk with bringing elephants is that they can just kill uh, just about everyone. And if it, gets, if it gets too insane, they might have to start killing their general. Like the, there is an ability just to stab your own uh, elephants in the head, which would mean they kill their, kill their general. I don't know if they're killing the Ptolemaic Cav very easily though. They certainly trample infantry. Maybe they don't trample Cav. Yeah, they are kind of getting stuck in. They are back into melee. They're uh, very tired. I always think a good idea to, and a good ability to bring is second wind for elephants. If you can have an elephant general, or just elephants generally, I think bringing second wind as an ability is not a bad idea. Um, the player hasn't, I just like to say. But uh, elephants tire easily, and the second wind ability in row two is incredibly powerful, but it just sends the unit back to fresh. Can be very useful for an elephant unit. Look at this, Desert Cohort are sneaking around the pipeline here. They need to be careful about that. Yeah. I think that's okay. These guys are going to get stuck, so it's technically a bit of a pull through for those, those like five guys. But the majority of the unit did actually sneak in behind. And they, they are now in behind enemy lines. They're going to get to these archers. It looks like the general here for the elephants is going to be beelined to deal with that. Uh, it looks like Galatian Legionnaires will pull back, which is just meant that the pikes just die. It's a strange move, I will admit. Uh, the other pike units over here, this one also not really having much joy. Looks like it's getting flanked by skirmishers. Like I said, I just don't think pikes are great. They just don't, they can't hold themselves. And certainly if they're like this at the end, unsupported, they need to go in with support, uh, like infantry support really. They can't protect themselves uh, on their own. They've got a tiny little shield at best, or no shield. And uh, yeah, look at this. The elephants are desperately, like, they're trying to chase down these uh, these poor desert cohort. They're actually out of control of the elephants, so they might just go through them and then out the other side. But yeah, imagine being one of these humidities like, crap, 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 we're getting charged. Uh, I don't think they really did much damage. They've got 81 kills. These guys could do with getting triple figures if they're going to actually be worth it. Um, but yeah, you can see here, it's pretty much over now. The attackers are going to come through this choke point here where the Kushai Pikes were. And then they're into the city center, which they are actually already. You can see here, a little oak swarm snuck through. It's going to die, it looks like, to these Galatians. But there's more infantry on the way. There's always more. And yeah, I mean, this uh, Galatian general, by the way, is just going ham. He's finding every archer he can and just killing every last one. He's going to really bump up his kills. 335 kills he's up to. Uh, I mean, it's still... It's kind of close, but the just the units that are left for the attackers is mainly swords. The elephants, I mean, they could do with taking out all these missiles, and they might have a chance of doing some serious damage, but they're exhausted at this point. And they're already pretty weak, 8 out of 18. If it was a, like a heavy elephant, that'd be, you'd be like, oh, there's a good chance. And these chosen swords here, I mean, yeah, there's just a lot of archers left, these Cretans, and there's just the elephant and Cav trying to take on heavily armored infantry. The elephants, I mean, like I said, could do a lot of damage. But they're already pretty weak. And exhausted. And there you go, they're dropping like flies. And there you go, they're actually, they shattered. And they are capturing the capture point now. And then, yeah, it's just Egypt left. Egypt's just uh, got a, his cav and a few archers. And there, yeah, there you go, Chosen Swords. 
Should help deal with these guys. I imagine the uh, Des Legionnaires. These guys have done well. Even with no general, they've, they've held well. That's the Roman trading instilled into them. go yeah it looks like these uh creators are finally gonna get routed the legionnaires are also going to go and then the general makes one defiant stand he's got 403 kills he's done him well to be fair this general i mean the cav has gone for the what it needs to go for archers that's how you get kills with the cav just archers or rear charges maybe uh, but yeah charging into a massive infantry like this prolong melee you're gonna die i mean 427 kills still good we can get another rear charge off onto these uh does legionnaires oh no he's seen more archers more of his prized archers he can take out. How many kills is he going to get? Good, ch decent charge. 435. Might start to get a couple more here. We'll see. He did bring second wind. He should have. I mean, he probably used that on his general. Because he's fresh, yeah. But the elephants, I think, could have used that a bit more. And just recharge. 467. This is the final unit, I think, holding. Wow, yeah, this is it. They're literally holding the, uh, the last stand together. I mean, there isn't much left, as you can see. It's a very close game. I think if uh, they maybe had had those other units up at the start, maybe they could have held. Egypt uh, definitely, I feel like, was the weakest link. I don't know necessarily in play, but just the units he brought. Just a lot of Karanians and medium infantry that weren't holding against legionnaires. And that's just where they, they pushed through. They targeted him, really. And uh, yeah, that is, that is it, I think. I can't see any other units. Oh, no, there's the Egyptian general. Okay, he's still alive as well. He is making one... Final, final last stand. He's got 202 kills. He's still doing very well. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't broken, to be honest. But this is... The balance power is pretty much out of their favor. They pretty, pretty much have no favor left. Yeah, another charge here. I don't think they have javelins left. Does anyone... Yeah, the charge here is going to happen. They got a couple more kills here. 200... Can they get 250? I don't know. Probably not. I think they're going to route here in a moment. But there you go, guys. That is today's Rome 2 Siege Battle. Egypt should route here. And we'll have a quick look at the end results and see how everyone did. There you go. A costly victory for Numidia. So, yeah, this was sent in by uh, Uchiha uh, Madara. So, thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. He's a sub of the uh, channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, often sends in a lot of these Rome 2 replays. Um, but, yeah, if you have any of Rome 2 replays you want to send in yourself, feel free to do so. Link to my Discord is down below in the description. That's where you send them in. But yeah, we've got 172 kills with these new Midian skirmishes here. His Ballista got 118. His uh, Desert Cohort, 163 kills. His Legionnaires getting 187, 235, 195. And then, yeah, nothing else getting too much. And then we have each Rue playing as Seleucids. 228 kills with his Royal Peltas here. All of them getting triple figures. Bar is General, who got eight kills. What the heck happened to him? Did not even see what happened to the Seleucid general. But he might have just got picked apart by archers. Uh, and then his hillmen, he spammed these guys out. Not really getting anything with those. The eastern spears didn't do much. And the Syrian archers, 88 kills. Yeah, really his health was the only thing that like, really got kills. And it shows with the amount of kills he got. Only 900. Then we have Pick, Pick, Pick playing as Arverni. 175 kills with the Oak Sworn here. 238 with the Heavy Horse. And then we have Celtic Warriors here. Looks like 92 kills. Uh, Chosen Swords 91 and the Oathsworn getting 181 kills there but yeah they all pretty much all dead by the end like uh, it's very very close uh, but yeah they decent as well did pick 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 then we have It's Nil uh, Nihilus playing as Kush 195 kills as War Elephants in the end so they definitely did well they got paid for themselves I'd say the uh, Archers 126 kills and then his uh, yeah, Pikes, uh, one did get 1-2-2 two, two kills, which is okay, actually. 2-1 kills with the Shotel Warriors here. 117 with another. But yeah, the Slave Infantry not doing anything exciting. Then we have um, it's, it's Elias, maybe. I think is how you say it. Maybe. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. It's, as Galatia, uh, getting 485 kills with his Noble Horse here. Uh, and then, yeah, his Archers, 138. The Legionnaires, 126 kills. 110, 124. And then his uh, Glacian Swords, 186, 189. Then we have uh, Max uh, Tapsell 
playing as Egypt. 244 kills is for Ptolemaic Cav here. And then, yeah, he's a uh, Hellenic Royal Guard, only getting 43 kills is rough. The other Pike got 51. Uh, one of his Thorax got 38, 138 kills. But yeah, nothing else really getting massive kills there for Egypt, unfortunately. But there you go, guys. That is today's Rome 2 Siege Battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.